Group Link's Everything Help Desk. This video will show how to set up custom fields with, on a ticket within Group Link's Everything Help Desk. By default, only technicians, managers, and administrators in Everything Help Desk can create or edit custom fields. This permission can be edited in the global permissions if needed. For this example, I am going to log in as an administrator. Before we discuss how to set up custom fields, let me first show you what we're referring to when we talk about custom fields. When creating a new ticket, you can collect additional information. For example, let's say there's an issue with the printer. Under the Tech Services group, once the Category and Category option are selected, you'll notice that an additional field appears. Is it plugged in? This allows for more information to be collected upon ticket submission. This information can be detailed or general. This here is a detailed example, so let me show you a more general example as I walk through how to set up a custom field. To set up or edit custom fields, within the Settings menu, under the Ticket Settings, click on the Custom Field Setup button. To add a new field, simply click the Add Custom Field button. The field label is how the custom field will appear on the ticket. We'll walk through two examples. The first example will be more general. On every ticket submitted, I want to see the room number so that I know where to go to fix the issue. For the field label, I'll simply put room number. In this example, I want to see this on all tickets submitted, so I will not specify a location, group, category, or category option. By leaving these blank, the custom field will appear on all locations, groups, categories, and category options. The field type is the way that the person submitting the ticket will answer the question. The text field is a short text answer. A text area is a larger text answer. A radio button will allow you to add possible answers and allow them to select one. A checkbox allows the box to be checked or unchecked. For example, the custom field could say computer was restarted and the box could be checked if it was and unchecked if it was not. A drop down allows you to add possible answers and allow them to select one. The date field will have a calendar for them to select a date. The number text field is similar to a text field, but they will only be able to enter numbers. The date and time field will allow them to select a date from a calendar and then enter a time also. For this example of the room number, I'm looking for a number, so I will select the number text field. Next is the order. You can choose the order in which custom fields appear on the ticket. The lowest number will appear directly below the assignment. The second lowest will appear to the right of the first custom field. The next lowest number will appear below the first one, and so on. For this example, I want the custom field to appear first on the ticket, so I'm going to leave the order at zero. Finally, you can choose to make this custom field required or not. If it is required, the ticket will not be able to be submitted until the custom field's question has been answered. The only exceptions to this are with the checkbox and the radio buttons. For this example, I'm not going to make the room number required, so I'm just going to click the Save Changes button. And let me show you one more quick example. I want more information when there's a printer issue. You'll notice that there's already a custom field asking if it is plugged in. I want to know what type of issue it is though. So again, I'm going to click Add Custom Field. For the field label, I'm going to put Type of Issue. For the field type, I want a drop-down that I will add options to. And I want this to appear after the room number, but before the other printer issue, so I want the order to be 1. I also want to make this required, so I will click the slider and it will turn blue, meaning that it is required. As I mentioned, I want this custom field to appear on all printer tickets. So I'm going to select the group, category, and category option for printer. If you want a custom field to appear on all tickets in a certain group, simply select the group and leave all the category and category options blank. The same goes for category. If you want it to appear on all hardware tickets, for example, select the group and category, but not the category option. This is also the case for location. If you want it to appear for every location, like this example, leave the location blank. However, if you want it to appear only at a certain location, then simply select that location. You could also have some custom fields that appear for all groups at a certain location. 
As you know by now, to do that, simply select the location and leave the other fields blank. Now you probably noticed that this custom field options area appeared after I selected the drop down from the field type. This is where I can add options for them to select. In this example, I want to know the type of printer issue. So I might add a new option for out of ink, an option for paper jam, and another option for other. You can list more options here though if you need to. Once you've finished, click the Save Changes button and the new custom field will appear in the list. Now let me show you what we have just done. On a new ticket, after you select the group, you'll notice that room number is now on the ticket in the first position. Then after I select the category and category option for printer, there are two additional fields that appeared. The type of issue is in the second position, and is it plugged in is in the third position as we previously defined. You should now be able to set up custom fields and create a ticket that is more customized for your organization. If you have any further questions or would like more information, please give us a call at 801-335-0700 or email us at info at grouplink.net. Thank you.